the reason the reason why I stopped streaming is because I just I just my mind like I would get on stream and then I would I would have to I would have to turn on my switch like I I know people's going to start talking shit about my parents let me prepare for that like no one should have to prepare for bullshit you get what I'm saying like I don't want to walk into a party and know that there's like somebody I don't like or someone that doesn't like me is going to be there or like 10 of them is going to be in the same room. I'm not going to want to go. You know what I'm saying? So I have to build up the mental strength to come to the stream knowing that I'm going to get flamed because of the way I look, something I can't control. You know what I'm saying? I let, like genetic wise, like my face, my eyes, my teeth and things of that nature. Like I can't control those things. You know what I mean? Like, I don't understand why people be talking crazy on the net. You know what I mean? It's 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 the most bizarre thing to me. And I be chilling. I'm a great person. I be vibing. You know what I mean? I don't bother nobody. I get on here. I have a good time. I be sharing positive energy, making sure people that get through their day. You know what I mean? But people come on the internet, start calling me the N word, start saying I look like Marty, and they be asking questions, smart ass questions like, "Yo, you ever watch Shark Tale?" No, I never watched Shock Tale. Like, are we serious, bro? Like, why are we like this on the internet, bro? Like, what's what's going on in the mind? Like, that you got to do that to somebody on the internet. And it's like, some days I just play into it and I'm like, you know what I mean? Because I remember I made a video like a few months ago saying play into it. But I ain't gonna lie. Everyone has days where it's just like, you're not having the best day and you kind of, and, and, and streaming was like an outlet for me in a sense. Like when I wasn't having the best day, at least at the beginning, I would go to stream and then vibe out with the chat. And then my, I, when I get off stream, I, I would have mad energy. But now, like recently, like before I even quit, when I would get off stream, well, get on stream, I would be gassed. And then when I get off stream, I'd be upset because it's like the amount of times I would be like, you're banned, you're finished, I'm done with you. Or I would curse somebody out. Because they was talking about my appearance and not looking at the gameplay, well, it will piss me off. Because it's like, bro, like, what did I do to y'all to for you to be talking to me crazy like this about my appearance, bro? Oh you know I man, I know the look is a little unorthodox, but like, come on, bro. And then, and then I start to believe these comments because everyone is saying it. So I was like, yo, is my teeth really messed up? Is my face really messed up, bro? That shit was fucking with me, yo. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sorry for cursing, but I'm just I'm just venting right now because it's like I understand why I don't like to stream now. It's too much for me. You know what I mean? And I know there's gonna be somebody in the comments like, oh boo hoo, you know what I mean? Like, but I'm human. At the end of the day, it don't matter if I'm 40, 50, 60, I don't it, you're not it's not right. It don't matter the age. It's not right to treat somebody like that. It doesn't matter. Let's talk about it. I'm messing up all these buttons. It's driving me nuts. Okay. Now, I'm going to be transparent. Not too long ago, I was streaming. Having a good old time. We rocking, baby. I'm streaming, a, I'm streaming a lot. Those fucking comments. When you're... Ha See, this is why I'm going to emphasize. When you need, you need sometimes to walk away from live streaming for a week. I don't give a shit if you lose followers. It's not going to be worth it in the end. If you feel like you got a live stream nonstop in order... Or you got a live stream every day at, with your mental health falling apart, you won't make it in this business. Because for me personally, I don't think about live streaming for a uh, year or two for fun. No, I, I, I want to live stream for the next 10 years. 10, 15 years. As I get older, I want to continue to help you guys. That's my whole goal. I don't give a shit about always being entertaining. My job is always going to be to educate. But I want to be in this game for a while. So you got to think like that. If you're not in it for the long haul, I get it. Then, you know, get your views and get your money and get out. But if you're in it for the long haul, like one day you want to make it, you want to be a Kai Sinat. You want to be an iShow Speed. You want to change this, have this change your whole fucking life. Well, you're gonna, you might as well get ready for all the trolls and all that shit that's going to come. But you need to learn when to take a break. Okay. Just take a week and come back. Come back stronger than ever. Because I promise you, when you because when I kept live streaming, even when I felt like shit, it broke me down eventually. It just because those comments, they they build on each other. After a while, you get tired of seeing somebody say this or that about you. 
and eventually that fat comment or whatever gets to you. That you're not that good comment gets to you. That why is there nobody in here gets to you. That you, you suck gets to you. And I just let it keep going until it finally just snapped me. And I ran. I ran away. I should have been taking care of my health, not only physically, but taking care of my health mentally. And I didn't. I just kept eating my problems away. Kept getting fatter and fatter on camera. Kept getting worse and worse. And I just couldn't handle it. And so you got to be able to take that break. It's not that you're a mentally weak person. It's just that everybody needs it. I don't care who you are. If you don't learn to take mental breaks from being on this camera all the damn time, it's going to break you. We are not meant to do this with no breaks of taking care of ourselves, spending time with our friends and family, hitting out the side the fucking box. That's the hard. That's also the other thing. You got to get out of this box. Live streaming every day, not talking with your friends or family, just live streaming constantly, playing games and talking to people you don't know or can see. You, you, you put yourself in this box and I promise you, it starts to ruin your entire life. Why? You don't talk to people the same. The more you stay in that internet box, the more your jokes start to get more internet-y, if you, if you make sense. You turn into a walking brain rock. You, you, you start talking about memes. You talk about, talk about shit that people who don't get on the internet or are or not chronically online don't understand what you're talking about. And you become this awkward person because you no longer know how to communicate with people in your own life because you're so stuck on just talking to yourself. You start to believe your own ideas. You start to believe you're actually smart. And if you're really getting those numbers, getting that money, you start to believe you're more successful than you are. You start thinking you're, more, you're better than people. It just is what it is. But you got to take these breaks to get your fucking head on straight. You got to. You got to. Now, if you want to be a live streamer, I told you, you need to hop on one day, try it, get off. Come back a few days later, try it, get off. And if you can start doing that and start getting to the days and get however many days you want to get on here, just be consistent. You know, I say I try to live stream around the same time every day unless I work. Today I'm live streaming earlier. But, you know, for the most part, I live stream at the same time every single day. Give you the same kind of content. Give you the same ass fucking energy I give you right now. That stuff's important. But if you're getting in this and you're getting talked into this, which is what happened to this young man, but he did shrink for eight months. But if you ever start to believe that this ain't for you, please walk away. Because here's one of the problems that also happens. People don't like live streaming, but they feel obligated to their people because sometimes people get caught up in, oh, man, somebody says like, no, dude, this is your purpose. This is what you're made for. God makes things hard. They start bringing in religion and stuff like that. Listen, don't listen to them. You listen to you. Those people aren't in your life. Let's just be honest. They may support you, but they are not in your life. They don't really know you like that. So you need to continue to be like, well, how can I continue to be a content creator if that's what you really want to do? But in a different light, this man went and got a job. He wanted to pursue his life more into the IT world. Do that. I'm the opposite of this young man. I worked before I live stream. See, that's what, and you got to understand where you are in life. See, I didn't live stream for a lot of part of my, the vast majority of my life. When live streaming became a thing, I was not into it. I was just making dumb videos talking about dumb things. I didn't want to live stream. It never even crossed my mind. I was a full-time, I worked full-time. My, I was moving up in the corporate world. That was what I wanted to do. And I partially still want to move up in the corporate world because I believe it may, helps me a better content creator. And I believe I can have a full-time job and do this. So like, because, because of the way I live stream, I can work full-time and do this. Not that hard for me. But the problem becomes, if you don't want to do this, man, and it's not for you, people are scared to leave and go get a nine to five. Like I said, the opposite for me because I started at a nine to five and then I came to live streaming. So it's not hard for me to make a transition and stay in the nine to five. I can do that because I've already done it. People get scared because they don't want to have a boss. People get scared because they don't want to. Um, because the people see a nine to five as failure. It's stupid because the people who make fuck tons of money who are nine to five. But other people, they get caught up and, oh, well, you know, I'm not going to make my $4,000 a month. What? $4,000 a month? Baby, that's not a lot. So I to let you know, baby, that's just not a lot. And you, you got to have that hustler mentality. Even if, even if you got to go to work and 
even if you're making four thousand uh four thousand a month on uh live streaming or whatever platform you use, that's not enough. You need to be a hustler, baby. A hustler, baby. I love it. You gotta become a hustler, baby, and continue to keep it grinding. You need to take whatever little money you get from this live streaming and either scale it up or start getting in the merch or start making videos, start becoming a content creator when you're not live streaming, learn how to edit, do something. But no, $4,000 a month, that's not where you need to stop. But see, people get so caught up in that because they know they have, to be honest with, be honest with yourself, if you're a live streamer making this kind of money, you can't go nowhere. If you decide to leave live streaming, you don't really have any real skills. Nobody's going to hire you be like, oh, he was a live streamer. Of course you can be VP of talent and ex- talent acquisition. Of course you can come over here and help us. Fuck no. You don't know how to recruit. You don't know how to get people in. You don't know about benefit packages. You don't know about the insurance. You don't know about any of that shit. There ain't no way you're getting in this department. But if you've already done that, which is a beautiful thing if you're in reverse, you've already been a customer service representative, if you've already done sales, if you've already been an HR assistant, you've already been a director over an entire third-party vendor, whatever that is, you know, if you've already been in the Verizon, AT&T's world, shit like that, you've got something to bring. You got something to continue on. But well, if the live stream don't work out, I still got skills. And another beautiful thing is when you're a live streamer. Now, I don't really see this happen. It, this isn't an easy ass transition as um, it may seem. But if you're a teacher at a school, that'd be a great live streamer. Great. Now, once again, live streaming is a specific set of skills that is not out there in the world. So you still got to learn this. And I'm not saying every teacher would make a great live streamer. But a teacher who can do the live streaming shit too and learn how to do it, oh, that's that's great. That's somebody who can take something out in the outside world, who has skills in something else, and can teach you something. Lawyers, teach you something. Nurses, teach you something. Doctors, teach you something. Blue-collared men, teach you something. White-collared men, teach you something. All these people can tell you how it goes in the world outside of here and come back on here and live stream, they can teach me a lot of shit. That's all I'm saying, baby. Just figure that the fuck out. But the the hard part is always going to be, man, the comments. The comments are always going to break you down. I don't engage in my comment section a lot. I normally don't look until I'm done talking. And I want to give this piece of advice. I don't know what kind of live stream you ever plan on doing. But the best thing you can also do for your head is if you can make it possible especially if you're having a bad day and you haven't got to your mental break yet. Don't look at the comments. Make your video. Talk about what you want to talk about. I am a more of a um, commentary kind of live streamer, so I can just pick a topic and talk about it. I always try to give you guys a video because y'all don't know who the fuck I am, so sometimes I need to give you something to look at. But sometimes I'll do my topic, say what I got to say, look at the comment section, say, oh, okay, goodbye, and I'm off. If you can't handle the comments, you can't handle the chat too much, and I know you need to be engaging, but I promise you, I promise you, if you're good at what you do, you will never need to look at the comment section until the very end of the video or the very end of the live stream. Provide entertainment, provide a TV, provide a show, provide something, and then go back to the chat. People think that you have to be in the chat the whole time. Hey, uh, Michael with the super chat for $18 said, fuck you. No. You ain't got to do that. You ain't got to take that. Okay? You can wait it out. And when you get to the end, read the super chat you feel like fucking reading and get on about your day. At the end of the day, guys, and I'm not trying to be rude, I get it that we need to help our supporters, but you are providing something. Make sure you're providing value. And if you're providing value, bro, don't worry about don't worry about if you miss the the chat. Because sometimes it gets toxic in that bitch. Fortunately for me, for me, I ran. When I was getting people in my chat all the time and having a good time, it was great stuff, but I ran. I'm, I left. So now I got really no chat. Can't see my YouTube chat right now. I can only see TikTok. And y'all motherfuckers ain't talking from what I can see. I haven't looked over there, but when I just looked to put that video on, I didn't see anything. Of course, I can't see fucking TikTok because y'all's... The live studio is way different than what YouTube is. So I, I can't even see the chat. I have to go to another window. I'm not doing all that. I'm sorry. Not right now. I do that at the end, but I'm not about to do that during, during the show. That's too much fucking work. 
I got something to say. And y'all motherfuckers gonna hear it. That's all I'm saying. So, the live streaming place can be a dark place. Obviously, there's doxing and shit like that. It's scary. I mean, that's one of the biggest fear every streamer has. They're gonna be looking at your chat one day when you get done, and you're gonna see that everybody knows where the fuck you live now. And now you gotta load them up. <laughs> you gotta get ready for some weird motherfucker to show up at your house one day. Or decide to take pictures of your house. Or decide to film. Why right when you're walking outside, hey, what's going on? What can I change? Can you what can you do? Protect yourself at all times. Take this shit seriously. But that's why I say also, with the parasocial relationships, don't get too close to these people. I'm dead ass serious. There's nothing wrong with having supporters and hey, if one of them become your friends, okay. But don't 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 get into this shit that much. Don't let these people become your friends. I'm serious. Where's the I'm providing an entertainment. You're helping me. I'm helping you. We're trying to help each other go where we need to be. But don't let these people get inside your head or let these people think they really fucking know you. That's why it's important, like I said earlier, go find your friends and your family and fuck with them when you're off this camera. Take a week vacation every now and then and go talk with them because those motherfuckers know you, not these people on here. It's all love, but you got to be smart. Anyway, all right, let me figure this shit out. Um, y'all like that hustler baby? I like that. Oh, hustler baby. Y'all know what that's from? That's from a Jay Z song, but he said that a lot faster. I slowed it down, and then we go, "I'm a hustler baby. Give me that funk, that shit, that." But you know, let me um. Okay, well, it's not too crazy, as far as what I can tell. My first time over here, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to go all in and fuck with it. Oh, okay. Right, let me make sure I didn't miss anything over there on YouTube, Lube. Why'd I say it like that? Why'd I say it like I'm a weirdo? I'm a fucking, uh... Okay, All right, cool. Well, that's my first time I streaming over here. I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna probably do it around this time because I work again tomorrow. If I'm awake, I'll live stream again. If I'm not awake, I won't. Um, <laughs> and then we'll be back to uh, a couple days from now. We'll be back to our normal shit. Um, gonna go ahead and give y'all kind of the rundown of what we're gonna be doing. We've already talked about the live streaming stuff, so I'm not talking about that again. We are going to be talking. Oh, actually, let me pull up my ship. That I see on me. Bro, can you stop doing that? Um. Excuse me. We're going to be talking about. Oh, OnlyFans. We got a lot to break down in that video. That's going to be a longer stream. We're going to talk about uh, overconsumption uh, a little bit more. Talking mainly about trinkets. And the only reason I want to I want to talk about trinkets is because I want to talk about how small things can become fucking, um, it can ruin our lives. So we're going to talk about trinkets the, uh, for TikTok. We're going to talk about um, OnlyFans. And how much um, the I believe the love of money is what really ruins people for um, um, OnlyFans. That's probably going to be one of my longer streams. I think I'm going to do a whole stream dedicated to OnlyFans because I could probably talk about that for about two hours straight. So that's going to be a video. 
This could be a live stream. The trinkets could be a live stream. I've been looking into some other videos. Obviously, the live streams went down today. So I'm just going to keep watching around and see what I can't find. But it's going to be beautiful, man. It's going to be beautiful. Anyway, this is my first time here. Hope y'all enjoy. Don't be too fucking crazy. Like I said, if you're new for here, especially on TikTok, you're not going to see another streamer like me on TikTok. I'm not like Kai. I'm not like I said Speed. I'm just naming people y'all know. I'm nothing. Maybe I'm not like Hassan for the most part. Destiny. I'm not wearing no big ass headphones. I'm a regular dude. These dudes have been famous for years. I'm just a regular ass dude. I'm going to give you regular ass stuff. I'm a, I work a regular ass job. Going back into the corporate world. I think I'm going to be doing insurance again. If y'all remember, that's what I. that's where I got my bread and butter in the corporate world. Working with insurance. I kind of like working with insurance. Um, I used to work for a company's doing insurance where I would help people with their tragedies. If your house got burned down or if your house got flooded or if your house got hit by a tornado or fires and other stuff. And somehow your house got fucked up. I was the one who got you that money. I learned a lot about insurance through that stuff. Very sad stories. Um, but I still want to stick with insurance and keep moving my way up. Um, one day I want to become VP of uh, talent and acquisition. I really want to work into that, but that could be 10 years down the road. It takes a while to get to a VP status, especially uh, when it comes to HR. So that's my main goal. But And outside of that, I want to be, a, so I want to be an excellent live streamer. Um, but I do like having a life outside of this. Um, not everybody wants to go to work and do, working on the files. They suck. They do. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to do this all day. I want to give y'all my life experience out there and teach y'all how to implement it in your lives to make you guys better. I can't do that if my only source of my only source of income is live streaming, because then I have to depend solely on y'all, and that makes it harder to make videos. I don't want to ever, ever be a part of that. I want to make money out here in these nine to five worlds, okay? And that way, when I make my nine to fives. I can get on here and kill again because I don't have to sit here and be like, oh my God, I need to, I need to have a great live stream. I need to, I need somebody to give me this amount of money because I'm broke. No, that's what my job is for. I can work overtime in my job if I absolutely had to. But no. I, I can't, I can't walk away from the nine to five. I know y'all guys do it, but like I said, I did nine to five before I did the streaming shit. I'm gonna do nine to five if the streaming shit ever ends. But yeah, anyway. <laughs>